By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to turn your phone into a 3D hologram, like this one. Now this may look super complicated and futuristic, but it's actually incredibly simple. Also, it's not gonna require you to buy anything at all. Now, older guides exist for this already, explaining how to do this with CD cases and graph paper. But CD cases and graph paper aren't really a thing anymore, so we're gonna do an updated 2022 version of this guide. So to turn your phone into a hologram, the only thing that you're going to need is a prism. So we're gonna make one. But quick note, if you don't like the idea of making a quick five minute prism, you have the option to buy one on Amazon. They're about $10, but before you spend any money, keep in mind, it's really quick to make one and it's free to make one. So for those of us making our own, here's what you're gonna need. A rigid, flat, clear piece of plastic that you can cut. So a CD case will work perfectly if you're still vibing in the 2000s. But if you're not, here are some alternatives that you can also use. You can use trading card protectors, you can use the bottom of clear plastic cups. Thin glass will actually work too, but be extremely careful with this. Basically any clear glass or plastic around that you can cut should work. Number two on the list is a device that can print. If you don't have a device that can print, you can still use the old school way. You can still use graph paper or regular paper or some sort of paper. But if you have a printer connected to maybe your smartphone via Bluetooth, you can use a laptop, you can use any device that's capable of printing is gonna work for this. Next thing on the list is either tape or glue. Next is a pen or a marker. After that is scissors or something that you can safely cut with. And then lastly, and most obviously, is your smartphone. You can actually also use an iPad or any tablet. That'll work as well if you wanna get a slightly bigger image. It's actually pretty cool on a tablet. Now, once you've got all your items gathered together, let's go ahead and start making the prism with them. Now, for those of you with a device that can print, go ahead and check the links in the description below. I have a bunch of free PDF stencils that you can print. Go ahead and print them out if you can, if you have a device that can print. If you don't, go ahead and get out some paper and a ruler. Okay, so among the PDFs, pick the one that's closest to your device size. There are gonna be a bunch of different ones that are a little bit older, but match up whatever PDF is closest to your device size. It doesn't have to be exact, as long as it's relatively close. There are some tablet stencils too for people who are using a tablet. Now, for my old school friends who are not printing, get out your paper and your ruler. You're also gonna wanna check the links in the description below and pick whichever template is closest to your smartphone, your device. Now, go ahead and draw out with your ruler and your pen on your paper the exact dimensions of the template that you picked. When you're finished, you should have a rhombus traced out on your paper looking pretty much like this. Now, once you've got your rhombus, whether you printed it or you drew it, cut it out of the paper with some scissors. And now you should have a nice little rhombus piece of paper. The next part is get your pieces of plastic. I definitely didn't have any CD cases, but I have a really big Pokemon card collection, so I used some trading card protectors. Now place your paper rhombus onto the first piece of plastic. Carefully trace the rhombus onto the plastic. While you're tracing, be careful to preserve space. You're gonna need four rhombuses to make your prism. Next, very carefully cut around your template and remove your rhombus out of the plastic. It will probably be easier to use the first plastic rhombus as the stencil going forward. It's gonna be a lot less flimsy than the paper one. Now, carefully start combining your pieces of plastic together with tape or glue. If you use tape, try and be as minimal as you can. The more you cover the surface, the worse the quality of your hologram is gonna be. Now, once all your pieces are connected together, you have your prism. Now we can finally get to the fun part. Open your smartphone and search YouTube for some 3D hologram videos. Tons of channels upload videos like this. They are hologram videos that are made to use this technology. I'll put a few links in the description below of some of my favorites in case you guys don't wanna search. Now, once you find your favorite, turn off as many lights as you can and carefully place your prism in the center of the video. And the final result is actually really dope. There's something about holograms that are just so awesome and futuristic. But we have an even more hype video coming next Sunday. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. Don't forget, I have a lot of other videos just like this one. Check out one of these two videos that pop up on the screen now because they're the videos YouTube thinks that you're going to like the most. Thanks again for watching and see you guys next time. Peace.